Hi, it's uh, Phil Turner from Timeform, looking to head to day three at the festival. Uh, I'll keep my first tip very simple because a, a while ago I was asked to nominate my um, flag up my best bet of the meeting and I came for Min in the Ryanair chase and uh, now we're at the, the day itself, nothing has changed my mind. I think he should be favourite on form. Um, Aplutard's an up-and-coming horse and it, clearly it's not inconceivable he could improve past Min but I'll be happy to take my chances at the current prices, around 11 to 4. Um, and I think more often than not, a horse with, with Min's profile and so many solid um, top uh, efforts against the clock at grade one level would, would win in this kind of scenario. And I'm, I'm happy to stay strong with him. Uh, moving on, um, the Marsh Novices Chase. Uh, I'm going to take on the favourite here again, because I think they've got the uh, market sort of uh, lopsided. Uh, if you think of the graded novice chases at uh, Cheltenham, the four of them, the last five festivals, 65% of the winners have been trained in Ireland. That's a reflection of the fact that the Irish novice chase division, there just tends to be so much more strength in depth. I think it's been the same this winter. They won the Arkle and the National Hunt Chase on Tuesday. And the two horses with the best form in this race for me are Faheen and Sam Crow. Um, now, clearly the, there are concerns about their suitability for Cheltenham, Faheen on jumping, Sam Crow, will he get up the hill given how he finished last time? But I think it's been overcompensated in the betting. They're both at around six to one. And I would, I, to be honest, my advice would be back both of them at six to one and you'd have a better chance of a return than back in the current favourite Itchy Free to half those odds. I'm here, I've got to nominate one of the two and I'm going to go with Sam Crow. Yes, he hasn't had quite the career we thought he was going to have after his novice, uh, novice hurdle campaign two, two years ago. Um, but because he's been those disappointments, they've sort of overlooked the fact he's still a very, very good horse. He would probably have beaten the Arkle runner-up two starts ago in the Jim Moore, giving him weight. And I think that form's good enough to side with here. As I say, I'd back the two, but if you hold me down to one, I'll go for Sam Crow. And then finally, in the Kim Muir, another horse with previous festival winning form, Le Bruy. He's got Jamie Codd on board. I think he's even better heart than his recent form finger suggests. Ben Pauling had two run well on Tuesday. And around 7 to 1, 15 to 2, I think he's the way to go.